live very humble. Mm. Cut that shit out, bro. Nah, man, <laughs> Come on, I man. Can't. I can't, man. Tell me why. I mean, like, look. Even it took Kendrick to say, y'all, my niggas, bro, I'm going to kill y'all on the track. Yeah, but that's, that's, when, that's when Kendrick was well-seasoned, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he was humble coming up. Well, yeah, yeah, as far as me right now, I, 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 I respect artists so much. I respect the, the craft so much that even if a nigga whack, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like, you know, hey, somebody might fuck with me. Right? So, and that's just me. Like, that's just my personality. You guys niggas around me. Mm -hmm. I've always said that. Um, so, yeah, that's just my take on that. You know what's dope, though? Hip hop comes with so many different forms and, and, and ways of connecting that. I gotta give you respect because new money and the product sound so different. Not because of the beats. Mm -hmm. I'm just focusing on you. They sound so different because once again, the thing that makes you I learn. It, you you, yeah, you I learn. grew. And the unfortunate thing about hip hop nowadays, artists have access to the internet. And people are judging y'all on your growth, not the product of your growth. Right. For instance, we just lost Mac Miller. When Mac Miller first came out, he wasn't the Mac Miller on Good AM or Go OD in the morning. Right. No matter how well you spell it, right? When Nas came out with Illmatic, which is incredible, it wasn't the Nas on Life is Good. Right. And in the industry, people used to get polished and then drop. They used to find the right beats for you. They, 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 they helped you with your delivery. I remember when the game first came out, everybody said he sounded like Lloyd Banks. Mm. He didn't sound like himself. Right. How different, or how has the game, how has the game treated you when it came from you first starting to you putting out official products on, on, on Tidal and Spotify? I mean, how has that that experience led you to not only get better, but how has the game treated you in in the appreciation of your growth and what you're putting out? Uh, the game's treated me. It's treated. It's, it's treated me well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first off, R.P. Mac Miller. When I um started rapping, you know, I, it was rappers around me, like real spitters. So just being around those guys. Shout out to Bank Gang. That's the first rap group I started out. Shout out to E. e Gutter for me, introducing me to um Big Heist. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was rapping with Bank Gang, me, Gutter, uh, Black Baby Rich, and Heist. And I was Bank Gang, you know, I had spitters around me. So having those dudes around me, and they seasoned, well seasoned in the game. So it just taught me so much at first. And, you know, having my little layover and coming back, and me and Truth and taking off like it was nothing, it, it, I've learned so much. You know, it's odd though. Hip hop has hip hop is only what forty five years old. Hip hop isn't even a grown man yet. An older man, he's still middle aged, right. or she, whatever you want to call hip hop. And in those different times of forty five years of age, hip hop has so many eras and subcultures under the main genre. Mm -hmm. Sour Boy rhymes on new age tracks. At times. <laughs> yep. If I wanted to catch Sour Boy in the zone, what is his sound and how does he de how does he define it? Man, uh, shout out Sour Souls on my song in my zone. Y'all go check that out right now. Uh but man, when I get in my zone, how would I describe the sound? Very, I would describe as, a, as, we used to say it was like escapism music. That's what we like, we used to call it, like we made our own genre, we used to call it escapism. Cause it just puts you in a space where you like, stop for a minute and actually like, let me listen to this thing. And so we used to call it like that, but um, as I grow, it's more like, just, it's vibe, it's vibe, but it's, it's heartfelt, like you said. So it's just a it's just a mix of everything for me. I want them to feel me on, on some heartfelt shit, but I want niggas to know I, I got bars for real too, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I I venture into the harmonies on tracks, I venture into the real rap, and I'm just trying to put it all in my mother right now. Sorry boy. 
as a man who loves hip hop, I appreciate your sound and your growth for what you do, not how you do it. And the reason why I say that is because I'm in the comic books. Mm. Hip hop is a poor man's sport with a superhero's dream. And the reason why I say that is because you have to grind to even make it mm -hmm. to be broke in hip hop. Right. But as a hero, as somebody who's on stage and who could touch people's hearts, you are the champion to people whose ears are open to you. What does it mean for you? Not for people to hear your music. Mm -hmm. Not for people to hear what you're saying. What does it mean for you to be courageous enough to put yourself on the front line to give that message, knowing that some people may not get it and some people may? Uh, it means a lot because I know like, I got something that people will relate to. So when I step up and rhyme and put myself out on stage like that, like I just I know somebody going to feel it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody going to feel it. So just if it's one person, like you know how people say this shit, if it's five people in the room, one person going to feel it. Like, that's how I feel like. If I touch one person right now, then, you know what I'm saying, I know I can touch a million people. In the Bible, or the books of faith, Quran, Bible, Torah, Book of the Dead, Back of Ajita, whatever anybody wanna, wanna get at, I got you. Mm -hmm. But in those books of faith, the MC is either the poet, the soldier, mm -hmm. or the watchman. Poets calm souls and painted pictures. Soldiers were front line to defend or to take whatever opportunity gave itself. Mm. A watchman was a person who was on deck to tell people of the dangers that came. How would you define yourself? The soldier, the poet, or the watchman? Uh, I don't know. I, me being me, I would have to define myself as like a, a cut of all three as far as my music goes. Explain it, what do you mean? Uh, just because I don't like putting myself in a box, like, I I like Kanye, I'm a Kanye guy, like, you know what I'm saying? Past all the shit that's been going on with him. Like, just as far as the music, you feel me? <laughs> like, but as far as the music, I'm a Kanye guy, like, you feel me? I like to venture off into different parts of what I do. You know I, what I'm saying? I like that because the sad thing is, and I love the how you answer that. When you ask people which one are you, they just focus on that one thing. Right. And they don't understand that in human life. Yeah, I hate to put myself in a box. Yeah, you can't you can't be a child all the time and you right. can't be a man all the time. You have to grow, evolve, and experience different things. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the new project. How did you grow to that by Encompassing the Watchmen, the Poet, and the Soldier on that one project. On the product? The new project. Oh, the new project. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's just, I approach it different than every other project. You know what I'm saying? Meaning. Speak on it. Well, give them the name of the project. Let's be for real. What's the name of it? The, the, brand, the brand new project is New Money 2. Okay. Brand new project is New Money too. That's the one I'm pushing right now on Instagram. That's the one I'm going hard for right now. So if you haven't heard New Money One, you gotta go out, check it out. If it's on Spotify right now, at Sour Boy, just type in Sour Boy, you'll be right there. Uh, but as far as New Money Two, I'm just trying to like build all the styles that I use in all my other raps into this one, into this one box right now. Okay. Uh, not to contradict myself, saying Being I in the, box. in the box, right, right, but. For this project, I am. But you take every project as a child. That's your mm -hmm. baby. Right. So you craft it, you mold it, you nurture it, you burp it, you feed it a whole nother way. Right. Every one of them is um, brought up differently. Right. And one thing I hate is people don't appreciate project by project. They mm -hmm. just say, this is the MC, I don't like it already. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everything has to have a certain sound and a certain type of place for you to hear it at. Yeah. But once again, you've grown. And I mean, I remember when Biggie first said that y'all got money now. I can't keep rapping about being being broke. Mm -hmm. You're seasoned now. You've engaged now. You've rock stages now. You got people telling you how much they love you now. Right. How does that factor into making the new project as opposed to how the first one came? Uh, it, fact, it factors. It factors a lot. 
It factors a lot because the first one was a whole different space. Nobody knew me. So just to have people know me now, know who South Boy is, that's a big thing for me. You know what I'm saying? To know where we came from, ground up. So it means a lot.